the MLK Observance Day celebration has been providing opportunities for the city of Savannah to celebrate the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. since 1985. I sat down with current president of the association, Deborah Adams, to learn more about what this year's festivities will bring. Mrs. Adams, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing, first of all? I'm absolutely marvelous. Thank you for asking and yourself. I'm doing pretty good. So we are coming up on MLK Day. So tell us a little bit about what the city can expect from this, your association and what is going to be going on. Well, as usual, the city can expect, first of all, we have a number of events that go on throughout the year, uh, beginning in January. Well, actually in October when we sash our marshals, our uh, trailblazer, as well as our NWAs, in, in, uh, excuse me, mm-hmm. our civil rights activists. Uh, these are our representatives. They become our liaison. They become our uh, YouTube in the city because of the things that they've done in the past to, um, to earn them this honor. That begins in October. Then we have our parade in on January the 15th, or excuse me, the third Monday of each year. It just so happens that it's the 15th, his actual birthday Mm -hmm. and his 95th birthday that this parade will be uh, celebrating his life and legacy. And on the day before um, the 14th, January 14th, we will have a citywide memorial to honor him as well. That event will take place at the uh, St. Philip Monumental AME Church on Jefferson and Park Avenue. Um, a grand event, we have a dynamic speaker, um, Reverend Dr. Gregory Eason from Atlanta. He was at one time here in Savannah at St. Philip on what we call the Boulevard. But he's coming back to bring that message to us on Sunday. And then, of course, our parade is on that Monday. Um, the city really comes out for that. Uh, they were a little upset because we... During the pandemic, we were in it, we were unable to, and we thought that we were going to, but the numbers of the cases started going back up, and we decided to cancel the parade for safety reasons. But now, last year we did it. Now we're back full fledged, and we just alive and kicking. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about you and your position with the uh, Observance Day Association. What's your role? Okay, I am the president uh, of. The, of the association. I've held this position. This is my second year. Um, we do to like officers uh, coming up at the end, um, within the next five, six months. Um, but before then, I have worked uh, tirelessly with just about every event or every committee that the association, association does uh, do. Okay. And so in the last two years, you talked about how, you know, you guys couldn't do it because of the pandemic, but you're back into full swing. What does it mean to be back in full swing, doing it to its full capacity? Phenomenal. Uh, It's something that the city does look forward to, uh, that parade especially, um, just to have the people to come out and to honor Dr. King and his life, his legacy in this parade that's the that's the biggest event that we do put on for the um for the organization so we just we have others that uh all of them mean a lot to me because we're just recognizing a great man yeah and so what does dr king mean to savannah equal rights uh he, he lost his life at an early age uh but during the time that he was alive he he fought tirelessly for everyone to have equal rights yeah and so during all the festivities because you guys start well before january getting this all together what is one message and it might be just what you just said that you want people to remember as they go to these events and support well we don't want them to think of it as a day off we want them to do something within the community. Go out and, and, and work with someone. Go out and feed someone. Uh, go out and do something in the community it's because that's what he did. Uh, don't just go to the parade and go home. Uh, there are a lot of things that's, that will be going on. I know there's a uh, – Carl Gilliard usually does Feed the Hungry. He does that event sometimes on the 15th after the parade. Um, I know an organization that I work with, we're going to do – uh, like goodie bags and take toiletries to a senior uh, care facility and pass the most pass those out to seniors there who you know need things and just spend t- quality time uh, uh, reflecting on him and what 
what he meant to you and what can what can you do for someone else? Yeah, and so if someone's seeing this and they want to be a part of the festivities, they want to support or volunteer in some way, what would you tell them? Contact the office. Uh, I, right off the hand, I wish I could tell you the number, <laughs> but if you can always find us at Celebrate ML King Savannah, and you can find our phone number there, and please do not hesitate to call. We always stand in need of volunteers, especially on the parade day. Mm-hmm. So what's parade day like? Now, I, I just moved here earlier in the summer, so I haven't seen a parade here in Savannah. So for someone who doesn't know what to expect, what would you tell them? Expect the best. Okay. Um we start out extremely early, getting at the staging area ready for the the bands, the floats, the cars, the marching units, the JROTC units um, to come in. And it's, it's just awesome just to ride down the streets. I've never been able to, since I was in the parade several years ago with my husband, I don't know what it looks like to see the people, but I know the streets are lined with hundreds of of people, thousands of people that look forward to coming out and um, seeing the parade. Yeah, so you said you were in the parade several years ago, Ooh. and now you're president of the association. What's your favorite part? Which part do you like to be on? Which side do you like to be on? Uh, I've been doing this side of it far longer than I was uh, actually a part <laughs> of the parade. Um it was my husband that I was riding with. It wasn't me. Okay. It, was, it was his, it was him who was, uh, who was the mayor of our city. Okay. So I got to be in the parade, but now I get to actually be working with the parade. Mm-hmm. And, and it's really, it's a lot of work that goes um, behind the scenes that no one knows about. And volunteers are always needed, but it's so much fun because the individuals that are work with that committee do a phenomenal job. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. So I read on the website that you guys are always in the midst of planning next year or in the next steps of it. <laughs> so what, what what are you thinking if we can get a sneak peek? I know we haven't even gotten through this year, but if we can get a sneak peek of what's to come in the future, where do you see this these festivities, this association, the celebration going in the next year? Well, we hope that we will be able to continue these celebrations uh, to honor him. Um, I just want it to be bigger and grander as we go along. And it just takes, that's why we plan out Mm -hmm. and for the next year and get ready. Absolutely. So you said to reach out to the office if you're looking for a way to support. Um, If you're looking away, looking for different events, I know all the events are up on the website. Is that the best way to get up to date information about anything that's going on? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Any other information for people as we prepare for the celebration? Just to come out, enjoy, be safe. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you for the invite.